<laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Long time no see. Seems like I stepped on. Yes. Oh, okay. Hello, YouTube. Long time no see. I wanted to unbag the kind of conference bag from CD Baby's first DIY musician conference that took place in Chicago, or rather, it's taking place in Chicago, October 23rd, 25th. Now, today is the 24th, it was day two of the conference, and I want to tell you what's inside. The sponsors, of course, are CD Baby, as well as Rumblefish, Geek Salad, and Berkeley Online. Now, I'm not getting any money for doing this yet, but one day, I hope to be a sponsored YouTuber. Anywho, I just want to show you guys what was inside of bag, so you can kind of get a feel for the conference, and maybe I'll do more of experience later. So first we have this pullout. This is from Louder, which presents how to get a mechanical license, a guide to legally selling your cover song. So mechanical licenses are different than maybe other licenses, like a synchronizing license or um, another kind of standard license you might have uh, when you receive royalties. For instance, mechanical license I learned from attending the conference today is something that, um, or not mechanical license, but mechanical royalty is something that you may not necessarily receive just because you're a member of ASCAP or BMI or you know another like um, PRO is what they call it, Performing Rights Organization. I think Sussex is the other one. Uh, another thing is a, oh, this I picked up from a table. So, brown paper tickets. I don't know if you guys know this company, but this is what CD Bay utilized to kind of share their tickets and I have a copy of mine here. So it came and um, I asked mine, this is like the envelope and I don't want anybody to know my address. So this is the front and it's nice. This is a non-profit ticketing service um, organization or company, depending on how you feel comfortable speaking about non-profits. And it's the only one that's a non, uh, not for profit. And this is what they utilized. Actually, I'm gonna do a free plugger. So I met an artist there and he was handing out CDs for free for those who met. His name is Brandon Ross and he is from Chicago. This is his Lost Soul CD. I have not checked it out yet, but I will. He's got 18 tracks on here. He has 15 tracks on here. And um, he was a nice young man. I did not take a picture with him, but a few other people that I met around the same time as him were taking pictures with him. So. I might regret that later, <laughs> but he actually uh, helped me take a picture, so it's okay. And then another handout, a young lady named uh, Candy, she is with this organization, and so I got her t-shirt. She's one of the people who took a picture with Brandon Ross, so, you know, if you see them online, I was there, I just wasn't in the shot. And her company's Fine Tune Promotions, which I believe is based in Chicago, if not Chicago, for sure, in the Midwest. Now, this conference was held in Chicago, but there were artists from all over. I saw someone who was from Alaska, just from the Q&A, so I heard people say, oh, I'm from so-and-so, someone from Maine. Um, there was a young lady who was sitting next to me in one of the um, workshops. She's originally from Atlanta, but lives in New York now. So get back to this bag. Okay, this is a, one of the business cards from Brown Paper Bag. Oh, Music Ticketing 101. This is one of their handouts. Yay! And they had these for your guitar. And um, I kind of went to the table post lunchtime. So the guy was like, you know, take as many uh, guitar tabs as you want. And I was just like, or guitar, guitar picks. Take as many guitar picks as you want. And I was just like, ciao. I'll take a whole bunch. So I did. And then someone else had a guitar pick right here chicagomusic.org. On the back of their card, this was actually inside. It was, I thought that was cute. And um, this was inside. It all comes down to love. We love ticketing for you. Brown paper tickets again. Let's get some more goodies going on. Okay, Gig Salad. Join free gig gigs. So Gig Salad is an online platform for artists to promote their talent, connect with event hosts, and planners and get books for private and public gigs ranging from weddings and parties to corporate events and festivals. As the largest entertainment booking platform in the US and Canada, 
We help talented people do what they love. Oh, if I rehearsed that, you know, I could have been in a commercial. Oh, we got some cool shades here, CD Baby. UV protection. I don't know how good the UV is. I'm suspicious, but this is cute. So, I might have some fun with this. And, oh, I didn't realize they had a pen in here. I was going through here wishing there was a notebook. I said, oh, oh, oh. Because I left, I, I don't normally do I left my notebook at home, which was a little crazy. Um, and not something I normally do. Like, I'm, I normally always have something to write with. Whether it be a small notebook or, like, a, you know, a medium-sized notebook. I'm always carrying something. So, I, I just had to use the index card I had. And I wrote, like, as tiny as possible. But it worked. This is my index card that I used. It worked. I got down everything I needed. And it, it made me even pickier about what I was writing. So, hey, a free pen. I appreciate it. And oh, come on now. Music conference. There's got to be a ton of songwriters. And there's something about pen to paper that's still kind of romantic and feeling. I like it. So, the conference schedule here. You can look this up online. Another. All they have are having a contest with this as far as premium packaging for your CD. So, you were able to sign up. And fill out a card, and you might get a chance to win. I believe what? No, maybe it wasn't free posters. I think it was some, something similar, but that was there as well. And we got a few more things. Let me speed through this a little bit more. Sure, plug and play recording at home anywhere. A mode of digital microphones and recording solutions. Okay, oh, see, this is a product. This is a microphone right here. This guy is. Is basically playing from his iPad and this is his acoustic guitar. Let's talk about awesome. All right, I see you. And they got the specifications on their, their um, um, mics. Yeah, now this company I'm kind of, um, I've been aware of. I, I don't have any of their products, but I've seen them more than once and without looking for them. So, a magazine with BOB on the cover, Music Connections. I haven't flipped through this, but I might check it out. And finally, Pro Gear. I think a lot of you people were sponsors. Oh, and all these extra picks that I, um, this is through right here. I, I, I shouldn't took like 20 of them because he was like, you can get as many picks as you want. And I'm like, you know what? I will go to Guitar Center and pay for picks. So first, there we go. Here's some more. Oh, and a candy. Oh, CD Babies. DIY Musician Conference. Oh, it's a candy. Yeah. Okay. So I guess if no one had, if someone didn't have fresh breath. And the bag itself is pretty decent. You know, nothing too fancy. There's a little plastic thing kind of hold in shape here, which is nice. So I enjoy this little, you know, free thing. And it came, once you uh, registered and received your badge, then they instructed you to pick up your bag. And in the badge, they would put a... Uh, punch a, a slight hole to make sure or kind of to tell the difference between someone who had received and hadn't received and there were specific times to for registration but also it was such that there was some always someone at the table to welcome you so I did not come at the top of the day today I, I kind of had some other things to attend to and I was still able to register no problem and I had a great time and I am glad I came even though it was like the middle of the day because I learned a lot of valuable information so for that I have to say kudos to CD Baby. I know CD Baby has like maybe a few competitors. I don't remember CD Baby having that many competitors when I first became aware of them. But of course, when I first became aware of CD Baby, this is pre iTunes era. So I don't know if everyone even remembers that. Like a music online and no iTunes. It, it did exist for a moment. It did exist. Uh, but I was really impressed. I thought this was extremely cool. I'm looking forward to see if TuneCore or other um, CD Baby-esque companies will now have conferences too, geared towards independent artists. That'll be exciting to see. I had a great time. Um, I definitely would recommend this conference next year to anyone who's interested in going. It costs $99. It's a three-day conference. It advertises three-day conference. I called it a 2.5-day conference because it started Friday in the evening. However, they did add additional events that took place Friday during the day, such as the opportunity to meet the CEO of CD Baby at 3 o'clock on Friday. And then the noon on Friday, there was like this open panel um, just talking about, um, it was supposed to be 
free food, a free lunch, and open panel. But I only saw open panel and no food. I didn't stay for the entire thing. Because after checking it out, I kind of wasn't feeling it so much. So I left and attended another event that was happening at the same time in Chicago. <laughs> That's one benefit of being in a big city. You can find something. And, um, I mean, I looked. I saw no food. And I was like, I don't know where this food is that was promised. I even looked back on my email and says, and free food? But I don't see it. Maybe I missed it. If there's no food, and I might enjoy this conversation, I'll leave. And so that was actually a free event open to the public held at the Chicago Culture Center. And I was like, well, since it's free, it wasn't part of my conference fee anyway. I, you know, I didn't feel guilty about leaving. Glad I left because I was able to do something I actually enjoyed much more later. And um, the part of the conference I have participated in thus far has been excellent and entirely worth my $99. Now, tomorrow is some more exciting things. It's Sunday. Tomorrow's going to be Sunday, the final day. I'm looking forward to that, too. So, I'll, I might update you guys some more. I might not. But I definitely wanted to unbag, uh, un reveal what's inside of this bag with you. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.